everybody, how is it going? This is Babylon 5, this is season number 2 and this is episode number 10. This episode is called Gropos, I think is how you pronounce it. We've had this referenced already this season, this term. I'm assuming it's a military term because the guy Garibaldi met in The Long Dark, I think his name was Amos, he'd said on that moon that he was stationed on that he was a Gropos, a foot soldier. So I'm wondering if we're going to see what he saw on that moon and maybe get some flashbacks because that would be really cool. I loved the last episode of this. Jeff just made me so happy. I've never been so happy to see somebody in my life. Even though it was just on this tiny little video screen, I think it was just, it, I needed it. I needed it a lot because I love that dude and I was so glad that we got to see him again and we learned about these rangers and some of them are human, some of them are Minbari and Jeff basically has these people on Babylon 5. They've been here for months gathering intel and now Garibaldi knows about it. Delen knows about it naturally because she's amazing so she would know about it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this episode has in store so let's go. I love this time of night. How do you know if it is night? <laughs> and time is a meaningless concept when you stop to think about it. Commander the jump gates online I read six ships. What? I'm receiving a code 10 ultraviolet docking request. What the Control hell? Captain Sheridan immediately and alert the dockers guild. There's always something. Yes. Captain John Sheridan, Commander of Babylon 5, oh. welcome aboard. Hey. General Richard Franklin, 356 Infantry Division. As in I'm Stephen? Sorry for the delay in docking, sir. No one told us you were coming. Uh, this operation is classified. I'll brief you at 0900. In the meantime, I'll need billets for myself and my people. Just how many people are we talking, sir? 25,000. 25,000? We're going to fit. nearly enough space. We'll be here for several days, and I don't intend for my troops to be sitting aboard transports that old time. Oh, my Lord. Yes, sir. I hope they have enough food. Uh, we have a Dr. Stephen Franklin on the station. Any relation? He's my son. I'll let him know you're here. Uh, that won't be necessary. I'll attend to it when I'm sure that my people are settled. Private Nazim Ahmed, serial Do they have little eight, chips? Seven, nine, five, three. Private Dorman, Elizabeth, serial number <laughs> six, nine, two, seven. What the hell is this? Earth Force calls it a classified operation. I call it a nightmare. Briefings at 0900, if we survive all this. I'll leave it to the infantry to ruin a guy's morning. Complain later. Right now, I need you to seal this area off. Nobody gets in except military personnel. You got it. We've doubled, tripled, and quadrupled up, and we're still 400 billets short. Which is nothing compared to what this little surprise has done to our docking schedule. Yes. Well, if you think we've got problems now, just wait until those ground pounders start hitting the wreck area. <laughs> Lay in more security. Post the more colorful spots off limits. <laughs> Don't want any incidents. You know, if you ask me, I think someone in Earth Dome has gone completely mental. That's an interesting opinion. Oh! Sir, this is Commander Ivanova, my second. Mr. Garibaldi, Chief of Security. I had an Alfredo Garibaldi under my command during the Dilgar invasion. Excellent soldier. That was my dad. Oh! So much for genetics. <laughs> now, if you'll all take a seat. This is Akdor, the third planet in the Shalassan Triumphant. Akdor is currently engaged in a bloody civil war. Ooh. The Shalassan government has asked for aid. The Shalassan embassy asked me for aid a week ago. Earth Dome ordered me to turn them down. And until the Senate because officially announces our involvement in the Akdor crisis, those are still your orders. What exactly is your mission? Operation Sudden Death. We'll jump immediately and end the war in one swift move. He's very optimistic With all about due that. respect, General, I spent time at Matak during the Karani expedition. It's more than just a fortress, it's a death trap. Oh. That's another reason for choosing the station. I'm counting on Intel. you to help me finish planning the assault. We can catch the rebel leaders completely by surprise. 25,000 Gropos aren't exactly inconspicuous. <laughs> I expect to keep this little party a secret. Yeah. As far as anyone's concerned, we're relief troops for Io. Even my own soldiers don't know any differently. And oh. by the time the truth comes out, we'll already be but won't they in be a striking position. How long before the announcement is made? A few days. Long enough for us to get our gifts in place. Gifts? Gifts? New weapon systems for your defense grid. When they're online, Babylon 5 will oh. have enough firepower to take on a warship. Babylon 5 is supposed to be devoted to peace. peace. If we begin arming heavily, the galaxy's changing, Captain, and Babylon 5 must change with it. Oh. You're a bit, um, We were facing a whole hey. squad of bullies. I couldn't... Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? I couldn't believe what was Who are you? It's incredible. Well, they call me large and this half plank rook is yang. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing in my quarters? <laughs> This is where they assigned us. Yeah. It looks like we're going to be bunkies for a while. A few days. Have a nip, huh? <laughs> Look, I don't know what lame brain came up with this idea, but there's no way you two are staying here. Uh, I'm on duty, Stephen. No, 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 no. This is fruit juice. The more cab call it orcha. You'll like it. Go ahead. 
No, I like orange juice. Yeah, but it's multicultural here. It's cool. Hmm. <laughs> so they Jesus. get you back in the saddle again, huh? Well, I wouldn't call it so much of a saddle. It's more like a coffee and cake run. You know what they say about old soldiers, don't you? They still kick butt with the best of them. Whatever happened to just fading away? <sighs> That's not an option at present. Mm. I could get you posted to Bethesda Dome. I mean, with the Narn and the Centauri at war, they need people with your kind of knowledge and experience. I'm needed here. I spent time in that type of research during the last war. Remember? I didn't like it. Like has nothing oh. to do with it. You have a duty to the force. What duty? What? What? Coming up with new and better ways to wipe out life? I'm a doctor. Heal humans. Jesus. Stephen, I know you're fascinated by these alien creatures, but they're a threat to humanity. Help your own kind. Life is life. Now, if you respected these beings instead of constantly trying to murder them, you'd appreciate that. This is where they clash, I guess. I've got to get back to my duties. I've never seen you like this before. See, Dad. It's my father. The general? Yes, the general. Hero of the Canal War, liberator of the African bloc, scourge of Geno 7. His record is impressive. Yes, 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 as a soldier. Not as a but man. As a father, he always brings out this anger in me I can't control. No matter how I try, I always seem to want to hurt him. But my father brought out much the same feelings in me. Mm. I mean, there are so many things that I wanted to say to him. I, yes, I feel the same way. Oh, Ivana, a little bunting woman. I should be free by 1800. You want to meet me at the eclipse? Yes. There seems to be an unusual number of Earth Force soldiers about this evening. Does it make her nervous? The relief troops for a colony on Io came in this morning. They'll be gone in a few days. Good. I would not want to think that Babylon 5 was becoming an armed camp. I... The way things are going lately. Do you not like how all these people are staring at her? devoted to peace. Londa and Jakar refuse to even speak to each other. Oh, shit. It is as if they desired this conflict. A few hundred years of bad blood will do that. We are all slaves to our histories. If there is to be a bright future, we must learn to break those chains. Well, for what it's worth, I hope you succeed. If you'll excuse oh, me, hell. the natives are already creating chaos. Is there something you want? What are you? I am a Minbari. Minbari don't have hair. This is human hair. Let go! Mate. Please. Please. I would break his balls. I have done nothing to you. Your people killed my people on the line, bony. <gasps> now you parade around trying to look human. What you need is her. Good lesson. Back off, Clyde. Good lady. Get out of my way. This Mimari freak is an insult to all of us, and I ain't have to do something about it. In case you haven't heard the worst, oh. over, get out of here. Go on, who's drunk? I'm not finished with Thanks, you. Thanks, lady. Oh, hell. Mr. Garibaldi. Oh. Hell. I would like to be this lady's friend. Private Dermer! <laughs> oh no! Did she do this often? No one, Sergeant Major. The chief has asked me to overlook this little ruckus. And as this is his jurisdiction, I've agreed. I just wanted to thank you for what you did back mm -hmm. there, even though I can't quite figure why. Ambassador Deland told me what happened. Who's Ambassador Deland? The woman you helped. Mm -hmm. She's an ambassador? <laughs> yeah, the best of them. Oh, leave it to Clyce to mess up big time. Well, you must messed up yourself. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Here, Baldy. Chief, we got a 288 in ground six. Another ground pound. What a we surprise. haven't seen Lou for oh, a yeah, while. I gotta go. You stay out of trouble. What if we came in from the south here? That whole area is mine. You'll need sappers. He's got really good Even memory, John. Heavy casualties. The Shalazans assured us this could be done with minimal losses. General, they lied. The Matok could be taken so easily, they'd have done it themselves. Yes, yes. If you really want my advice, call this whole thing off while there's still time. It's just a matter of time before Earth must choose sides. Oh, so, hell. Better or worse, my orders are take Matok, and I intend to do just that. Captain, when you destroyed the Black Star... This is awkward. Did you feel like a murderer? Oh... It's not an easy question to answer. No. I suppose the Mimbari consider me one. Yeah, some of them do. the Mimbari are not your own flesh and blood. How's the new defense grid coming? It should be fully installed by tonight. It's quite impressive. Pulse cannons, interceptors, mine launchers, and a tracking system three times faster than a robot. This is going to come in handy at some point. when he said we could take on a warship. Let's just hope we don't have to test that. Mm -hmm. I just have a bad feeling about this tour, you know? Yeah. I mean, they say we're going to Io, but... You're not. I don't believe it. An old firestorm would never lead it coffee and cake run what you know something mm -hmm. me no garibaldi for a security slug you are a lousy liar Look, i just no no it's all right i don't want it 
Sergeant Major, move these people out. That'll go in? You heard the general. The balloon's going up. Get back to your quarters, grab your gear, and be at launch point at 2200. Looks like you're going to see your first firefight, kid. It looks like Kef is starting a new drama. You know, this sounds nuts, but I'm actually going to miss you guys. Take care of yourselves, okay? You stay low and keep your ears open. I expect you back. Mm -hmm. Private Dermot! Never know what you missed. <laughs> we have learned that the first phase of this mission, dubbed Operation Sudden Death, is complete. We go now to a report taped earlier on Okdor. I'm here with General Richard Franklin, commander of the 356. General, can you tell us the results of the battle? Most of the leaders of the rebellion have been killed. He doesn't go anywhere with those little buttons, does he? We expect the complete surrender of all the rebel forces very shortly. Casual reports are in from Okdor. You said you wanted to see him. Oh. oh. Thanks, Lou. President Clark is expected to congratulate General Franklin of the spectacular victory. Oh. Oh. I guess the kid's gone as well. Oh, that's that asshole who threatened to lend. was so different but I actually really enjoyed it to see that Earth Force has these grow posts that basically do, as they do all the groundwork is basically and they just get sent into these situations that they don't even know about half the time basically expendable to Earth Force because there were so many of them here on Babylon 5 it was like 25,000 of them Earth Force probably have people signing up for the grow posts on a regular basis so they probably just see them as oh you we can just send these guys in and if it doesn't work we've got more guys signing up that's an interesting thing to know about air force that that is something that they possibly do and they just you know treat these guys like they're not people i guess at times and they just kind of do it because it's it's what they were trained to do but then seeing how steven's dad was towards steven and how he treats steven like a soldier more than he did a son at times the way he would speak to him and how Stephen was just like exasperated all the time and you could feel the tension between them in the scenes it was so well written the relationship between those two i think that was my favorite thing about this seeing a glimpse of how Stephen was brought up and he mentioned his sisters and his mother and him being the only son of this major general with all of these accomplishments he probably felt a lot of pressure on himself to the point where he actually said himself and we knew this from season one where he said he ran away to the stars and i liked seeing how they were able to finally talk as well but seeing how when delen was walking through the zorkolo and i was seeing all of these soldiers staring at her i was thinking oh hell, this might not go too well because they were really staring at her. And then to see this guy, I think his name was Kleist, basically just, you know, go at her about the war and how people died during the war and how she was, I think he said she was a freak and I'm just sat here thinking she's the most magnificent person I've ever witnessed. It was interesting to see her reacting with these Gropos, people who were on the front line during the Minbari War. Obviously, Delenn was involved in the Minbari War to an extent. To see how they reacted to her after her change in the chrysalis and we've already seen how some Minbari have questioned is she still Minbari? It was nice to see that opposing viewpoint and seeing it from the human viewpoint because the humans she relates with most uh, on this station is Ivanova, Garibaldi, Sheridan. She has these relationships with those guys, but they treat her better than what other humans obviously have during this as well. So that was an interesting take on it. And I liked to see that as well. I'm going to sign off and say thank you and I will see you guys later. So thank you.